YouTubers, welcome to Bikini Nation. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you are enjoying the content. Also switch on that notification bell so you do get notified when I release a new video. Due to the popularity of the previous video, on the coaches Kim Odo and Team Atlas, I thought what better time to run over the top coaches in bikini right now. I love coaching. And I'm going to say this again just so you don't think it was a mistake the first time I said it. For me, success is not about the wins and losses. It is about helping these young fellas be the best versions of themselves on and off the field. And it ain't always easy, Trent. But neither is growing up without someone believing in you. I just shared a clip from the TV show Ted Lasso because I think he is a fantastic coach. He has a purpose to coach not for himself but for his team. He encapsulates empathy and puts a positive culture above winning. And not to mention it's a killer show, go check it out. Now the first one we're going to touch on is Kim Odo or Body by O. Kim is a veteran in the sport and really well respected and his stats show this. He has over 150 IFBB Pro wins. He has created six Olympia champions, nine Arnold Classic wins under his belt and he previously coached Janet Leog and Angelica Tassira. So Kim has obviously had some big names, but he recently acquired Laura Leachapados, who is arguably the fan favorite. And she recently came second at Olympia in bikini, which is absolutely enormous. And let's not forget about Lucia Malavez, who cracked the top 10 at Olympia this year. Not to mention Erin Stern, who's a previous two-time figure Olympia champion, who has recently moved to bikini and is finding her stride. This also has the likes of Jessica Wilson and Priscilla, who are great names in the bikini world. And you could really say that Kim is building a really formidable team heading into that 2022 season. And guys, let's not forget that Kim also has Angela Baldress in his corner, who came second at the first ever Wellness Olympia this year. So that is huge, and I honestly cannot wait to see what Kim and Angela do in 2022. Kim is also renowned as a bit of a father type figure to his competitors. He really focuses on their image, their confidence and their involvement in the sport and also ensures that they do have a future outside of bodybuilding and after their career. Next up, we have Adam Benia from Team Elite Physique. Adam also has so much experience under his belt. Just to name a few of his stats, he has 22 IFBB Pro Card wins, over 70 Pro Cards, the most IFBB Bikini wins in 2021 and 2019, and this year, top three at Olympia. Adam's biggest name competitor is Ashley Coltwaza, the GOAT of bikini. We all know she has 30 pro wins, which is the most out of any division in the IFBB. Not to mention she has won Olympia three times, which is enormous, all under the guidance of Adam Bonilla. So they really are a powerhouse duo. They also do a podcast together called Bikini in the Brain, and I highly recommend you go and check it out if you are into that. Adam also coaches Phoebe Hagen, who recently won the Arnold UK and is therefore qualified for the Olympia 2022. And I'm super excited to see what package these two bring to Olympia next year. Adam's approach to coaching is a balance between being backed by science and his own personal experience. He prefers his competitors to be leaner all year round and make small consistent changes throughout the season. He is forever learning and does like to experiment and try new things. The next coach is Paul Rivalier of Team Pro Physique, who is really making a name for himself in the coaching world. Paul brings a great culture for his athletes to thrive and really emphasizes making the team more of a family. 
Paul's approach to coaching is also scientific based and backed by experience, but he is also a tremendous people manager. And this is demonstrated by the people up on the screen who he has coached to get their pro cards and take them to the next level. And guys, we're not just talking about anybody. We're talking about Daraja Hill and Lauren Downen Miller, who both placed in the top 10 at Olympia this year, who he helped get their pro cards. And for that reason, I would probably pick Paul to help me get my pro card if I was a young up and comer. Paul still coaches Daraja and let's not forget that she beat Jen Dory and Laura Lee at Tampa this year and she is moving from strength to strength all this time having Paul in her corner. I do acknowledge that Paul does not have an Olympia title just yet but mark my words he will in the next few years and he will continue to produce high class athletes. And guys, go and check out Paul Rubalia's YouTube channel. He has probably the highest amount of followers out of the coaches that I've featured today. He produces great content for both girls and guys, and he'll really help you understand him better as a coach. And that's one piece of advice that I would give you if you are an aspiring competitor. Go on their YouTube channel, look at their Instagram page, see if they resonate with you. Do their morals, their ethics, who they are as a person. Can you connect with them? Are they the right coach for you? Will you work well together? That's what you have to look at. We even asked Daraja to provide a few words on Paul and this is what she said. Paul is just amazing. I've never met someone who genuinely cares about his clients like he does. Prep doesn't really feel like prep until we hit a certain point and we need to push harder. I love he coaches natural athletes since. I often hear coaches tell women they can't be successful without the use of PEDs and he's never said that to me. And like that, we take a more flexible approach like flex flexible dieting. I've never feel deprived or restricted from my favorite foods. So when the prep is over, I feel it's easier to adjust to off season without overdoing it. He's an amazing coach and an amazing friend, and I'm very grateful for him. He goes above and beyond learning this sport, attending shows, speaking to the judges, asking all the questions, always working to be a better coach. Those are some really sweet words from Daraja and it does sum up Paul in a nutshell saying what an incredible human he is and Daraja if you're listening thank you so much for writing this really appreciate it. The fourth coach on the list is James Ayotte from Team Atlas. To throw out some stats, he has 35 IFBB bikini pros made since 2018, 235 bikini overall wins. He's another coach that is blowing up big and he has a tremendous eye for picking up potential. He does hold his athletes accountable and to a very high standard. Now we know that James previously coached Jen Dory who took out Olympia this year and he also previously coached Laura Leachapados who came second at Olympia this year. Currently James coaches Alicia Fatchen who is placing tremendously well at the moment. Also Danielle Phelps she has so much potential it is through the roof. Similarly Maria Lemos and also Marsha as well. And let's not forget about T Miller, who he recently picked up. You know how fondly we think of her. She has crazy potential. And it honestly makes me think with T, with Denny, with Maria, a few of the others, he does have a formidable team. Their potential is limitless and it makes me wonder where they can go with it. Either way, I'm really excited for 2022 and what's in store for Team Atlas and their athletes. The fifth and final coach we have is Ricardo and Anne from Team Panine. They have a huge team of incredible athletes. I would call them the international contingent. He is from Brazil and he does have a lot of Brazilian athletes. He has coached two recent Olympia champions and two Arnold champions. And Anne also has a competitor sitting in that top five Olympia position. Now let's take a look at his wellness competitors. Up on the screen there we have Francielli who won the first ever wellness Olympia this year and she has one of the most insane physiques I have ever seen. He also has Susana Rodriguez and a few other wellness competitors. 
And that's just wellness, guys. If we look over at Bikini, up on the screen, we have Issa Bikini, who took out Bikini Olympia in 2019. He also has the likes of Francesca Stoico, Priscilla Rodriguez, Jessica Brun, just to name a few. And let's not forget about Maureen Blankisco, who came fourth in bikini at Olympia this year, which is incredible. She is coached by Anne, who is Ricardo's partner. We reached out to her to get some words about their coaching style, and this is what she said. My experience with Anne is incredible. She is like a mom to me. She is very real and strict. It's because she cares about me and always wants the best for me. That's the biggest reason why I win or place top two in all my pro shows. I can definitely say she's a strict mum and that's the perfect formula for our relationship. And as for Ricardo, even though he's not my coach, he's always there catching me anytime I needed him. Team Panine is not just a team, it's a family. As you just heard from Maureen, there's some pretty kind words and it really tells me that Team Panine fosters a really positive environment. It's more like a family and it's definitely a family that I would want to be a part of. Guys, that's all from me today, but firstly, I really want to ask you this question. Which coach do you gravitate towards the most? Whether you're a seasoned vet, an amateur, or just a fan, let me know in the comments down below and why. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe, turn on the notifications. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Over and out from Bikini Nation.